charging station has three different charging options. appear to be working but it made a beep and it is charging you can tell from the light these Volta EV charging stations are free but they use the type 2 connector here and it does not charge as fast as the EV Go, but you also do not have to pay for it. So, the SAE J1772 chargers that Volta uses are not nearly as fast as the ones that I used at EV Go. However, they do have the advantage of being free. So even if you have to take a little longer charging, <clears throat> can't be free. No surprise that there would be free electric vehicle charging at Amazon Fresh since there is at Whole Foods which is also owned by Amazon.
42 to 60%. 12 hours of charging only brought it from 42% to 60%. So this is my first time at a Tesla supercharger. Let's see if I can figure this out. I have been at this Tesla supercharger for only a few minutes and I have already seen the battery increase very quickly. This works so much better than the, the overnight charging with the standard electrical outlet. If you own a Tesla, I guess this is how you have to do it. Well, I have already, in a matter of under 15 minutes, got as much charge as I got in 12 hours out of the wall outlet. These superchargers absolutely are the way to go. If it takes this long to charge an electric car using a standard electrical outlet, is not practical to recharge a car overnight off of a wall outlet unless you use very little charge during the day. Because the Tesla uses a non-standard proprietary charger instead of this industry standard SAE J1772 charging port, in order to charge the Tesla, I will have to use an adapter which they supply. Conveniently, conveniently the cord was stuck. So, there we go. It has a much longer charge window if you use a free charger, like the Volta here. EV charging has arrived and it is free and you get what you pay for because it is not as fast. The charge on here has gone up to 84% without any charging on my part. I have not plugged it in since the last one and it was 80 when I unplugged it. So something settled in the battery, not sure. Light went off when the charging was finished. The Tesla supercharger in Giddings obviously charges at a much higher rate than the previous ones I had used. This is insane. I'm getting over 500 miles of range for every hour I charge. This is awesome. Th th this is far better than anywhere I've previously charged. 125 kilowatts. It says charging equipment not ready, and it has a learn more, but when I hit learn more, nothing happens, and it won't tell me why it's not ready or what I need to do about it.
Once again, I have a ready to charge and charging equipment may not be ready, but not telling me what the problem is. So it tells me ready to charge, charging equipment not ready, and I say learn more. It says ready to charge, charging equipment not ready, learn more, and I get nothing. The car says ready to charge and is not charging. But based on the fact that the other electric cars plugged in here are also not charging, I'm suspicious that this is the charging station and not the car itself. And after all of that, saying the car was ready to charge but wouldn't charge, it is actually charging.